What's up guys, CodeMonkey99 here with you today explaining what a ME network is and also how to store, like, move stuff from your quarry that you have, remove stuff from your extra chests into your ME network so you can just access it from there. So to start off, let's say this chest here is your quarry's chest. Oop, let's not fall in the water. <laughs> Alright, let's say this is your chest from the quarry, right? It has some dirt in there right now. So how do we get that into our ME network? Well, the thing is, is that you're going to need a ME interface block. As you can see right here, ME interface, you're just going to need that. And then you just plug it in, or you can plug it in with your ME cable wherever you'd like it to be. So well, how do we get it from there? from this chest all the way to this ME interface even though it's not far well what I'd recommend using is something called an item duck because one it's part of ME energistics I believe it's part of, part of thermal expansion but thermal expansion is really meant to work with uh, <clears throat> applied energistics so how do we do this and what is this how does it work alright so item ducts are basically like pipes only they do not need a engine to pump them so they take no nothing but a redstone signal to power them so as you can see if they're whenever you first place them down it's just blue and blue why is it just blue and blue well it's trying to it, it's trying to figure out where it's supposed to feed from so if you wanted to take something out of the quarry you would change this to red and it would pump it out this way to the chest but that's not what we're doing so we'll move this back to blue with our little quartz wrench as you can see and we'll change this to red so it pumps it from the chest into our interface so all we have to do from that point on is we come over here and we place a little lever and then it will slowly pump it out of that chest as you can see and it's pumping it right in there and then if we look inside our ME access terminal you can just see that the dirt is just being pumped in and it's pumping in at 32 stacks I believe or 64 stacks yeah 64 stacks every time so we're already done it already took all the stuff out of the chest so that was incredibly fast and incredibly easy now to answer the question on what an ME network is an ME network is a combination of any ME combination of any ME computers tongue twister there but if you have two ME computers that that equates out to an ME network but most people do not consider it to be an ME network until it's self storaging so an ME storage device like I showed you last uh, episode would be an ME network but see now this can officially really be called an ME network because it has an interface in it to where it can be pumped in blocks and out blocks anyways that's all for today we'll be back tomorrow with more ME tutorials thank you for joining and have a good day